So the story behind the recipe is just pretty plain and simple. We grew up eating pancakes every so often. That was kind of the one thing that our dad would make that was breakfast related. Um, so it really is just, whenever I make it, it's just kind of reminds me of childhood or just whenever dad would make them. I would say my first memory of cooking it is probably this year. Um, I've been trying to get into cooking more lately the last few months. Um, but I mean, I've been cooking it since I moved in this year. So I guess my first memory of making it would be thinking about how, it may sound sentimental, but like thinking of how much time had passed and just like how I was actually out on my own now, <laughs> like having to cook for myself as an adult. Well, I've kind of already hinted at what it means, but it's just, um, it's basically just a reminder of family. As, as silly as that sounds, but like, especially as a Southerner, food is a big deal in families. Um, and kind of like recipes handed down, even though it's literally not a complicated recipe at all, it's literally just pancakes, but um, the sentiment's the same as if it was a complicated one. Uh, well, my dad doesn't measure out anything when he's cooking it, but he, cause I've asked him before and he'll just throw stuff in there and start cooking. I'm not like that, I'm a very type A person. I have to plan everything out. I'll usually get all the ingredients poured into the different bowls or all laying out so that whenever I just put it in the mixing bowl, it's just, that's it. And then I just put it in the, uh, in the griddle when I cook it. You know, just, I guess every time I do it, I think of my dad, you know, I think it'd be cool if my kids did the same thing. Um, even though it's not a complicated recipe, like I said, it's just kind of the simpler things. Um, I've always been big on family and traditions and stuff like that and handing things down. I mean, it's not necessarily this recipe, but I have other recipes that my grandparents have cooked or my mom has stuff from her grandparents. So just stuff like that, you know, handing stuff down. I'm, I'm big on that tradition. Yeah, um, it's definitely a pastime that I want to teach them just because, you know, just, I guess every time I do it, I think of my dad, you know, I think it'd be cool if my kids did the same thing. Um, even though it's not a complicated recipe, like I said, it's just kind of the simpler things. Um, I've always been big on family and traditions and stuff like that and handing things down. I mean, it's not necessarily this recipe, but I have other recipes that my grandparents have cooked or my mom has stuff from her grandparents. So just stuff like that, you know, handing stuff down. I'm, I'm big on that tradition. I guess to an extent, I think it is a way that I would creatively express myself, but also I think I, I do that through other things more so than cooking, but definitely it, it definitely means something to me when I'm doing it. I do listen to music, um, especially a good like, 40s music um i don't know i just feel like it kind of fits the vibe of cooking um especially if i'm cooking breakfast it's just you know kind of kind of slow but also um not so slow that it's like sad it just, it just fits the vibe i don't know that's kind of what i've always listened to whenever i cook